Today, I'm proud to announce that as of September, the United States now supports antiretroviral treatment for nearly 4 million people worldwide. 4 million people. And in just the past year, we've provided 600,000 HIV-positive mothers with access to drugs so that 200,000 babies could be born HIV-free. And nearly 13 million people have received care and treatment, including more than 4 million children. So we've got some stuff to be proud of, but we've got to do more. And on, in, on this World AIDS Day, uh, here's my message to everybody who's out there. To the global community, we ask you to join us. Countries that have committed to the Global Fund need to give the money that they promised. <laughs> Countries that haven't made a pledge, they need to do so. That includes that includes countries that in the past might have been recipients, but now are in a position to step up as major donors. China and other major economies are in a position now to transition in a way that can help more people. To Congress, keep working together and keep the commitments you've made intact. At a time when so much in Washington divides us, the fight against this disease has united us across parties and across presidents. And it shows that we can do big things when Republicans and Democrats put their common humanity before politics. So we need to carry that spirit forward. And to all Americans, we've got to keep fighting. Fight for every person who needs our help today, but also fight for every person who didn't leave to see, live to see this moment. For the Rock Hudsons and the Arthur Ashes and every person who woke us up to the reality of HIV-AIDS. We've got to fight for Ryan White and his mother, Jeannie, the Ray brothers, and every person who forced us to confront our destructive prejudices and our misguided fears. Fight for Magic Johnson and Mary Fisher and every man, woman, and child who, when told they were going to die from this disease, they said, no, we're not. We're going to live. Keep fighting for all of them because we can end this pandemic. We can beat this disease. We can win this fight.